This comes directly from Jordan Peterson, but if you study the pornography habits of women specifically, they're always going to be drawn to this beast of a man that they wish to tame. This has always been the female fantasy ever since the dawn of time. What is that the woman encounters this mysterious and aggressive male and tames him? That's the female hero myth, as far as I can tell. It's Beauty and the Beast. Now, the best representation of this beast of our modern world is going to be the werewolf and then the vampire. Now, these are two archetypes of beasts that women have obviously been fantasizing about for the past 10, 15 years. It's my personal belief that every man falls into one of two categories when it comes to the archetype that you can personally develop. So obviously there's gonna be the more masculine, very extroverted werewolf, and then there's gonna be the more introverted, mysterious, dark, cold vampire. So if you kind of resonate more with the vampire, this video is for you. Because I have not seen anything else about this on YouTube. So if you relate to this archetype, I will teach you how to be a vampire and really cultivate this archetype. Because personally, man, I've literally been on dates with women. And they literally say, you remind me just like a vampire. And I even make jokes like, oh yeah, I'm gonna drain your blood by the end of the night. And they love that stuff, man. So today it's all about how to become a vampire. Let's get it. So kind of like I said, man, this archetype works best if you're naturally a little bit more feminine, you're more of a pretty boy, and it's almost like you're a human version of a cat. That's kind of what the werewolf archetype is to me. Meanwhile, the werewolf archetype, it's like you're a dog. Obviously, the first way to look more like a vampire, you cannot be tan, man. I mean, the sun literally kills vampires, so the first thing is you need to be very pale, but you don't want to be, like, nerdy pale. Like, you still need to be jacked, you still need to look cool, have fashion, all of it, but you just need to be pale. And then, in addition to this, you should always be wearing some sunglasses, man. Never let people see into your eyes, because the eyes are the windows to the soul, and a vampire is obviously going to be kind of soulless, so... Do not ever let them see deep into your eyes. You always want to keep that air of mystery. And the pale skin, especially if you live somewhere warm like me, it's going to add even further mystery to you. Now, obviously, the style is all about the vampire aesthetic. So, the best vampire to mimic his style is going to be Eric Northman, in my opinion. He has the best style. This is from True Blood. He has the most aesthetic style, man, and he has a couple key traits. So you can rock this. It's going to be timeless, man. Anybody can rock this 24-7. It's kind of along the lines of the bad boy aesthetic, but I think it's even better. So there's a couple key staples. Number one, tank tops. Always, you got to have black tank tops. Personally, in my wardrobe right now, I've got 15 black tank tops. You don't have to be that extreme. I love black tank tops. Now, in addition to this, you have to have a good biker jacket, man. Even that guy from Vampire Diaries, he's always wearing the biker jacket. Just about every vampire in every series that you'll ever see, they always have a sick black biker jacket. Now, in addition to this, you need some black jeans, some black boxer briefs, and then the shoes, man. Vampires in these series, you'll never catch them wearing Converse or Vans. So, you wanna look more like a vampire, it's time to get some all black Air Force Ones, or even better, some boots. And now, as I always say, if you wanna go one level up, kinda of look a little bit more mafia, you can always replace the upper half with a button up, a black one, of course, and then some black dress pants, and then some leather black loafers. They look very sick, man. Now, they will always have silver jewelry. They will never be caught wearing gold jewelry. This kinda of comes along with the coldness. You know, a vampire is gonna be as cold as possible. Same with the all black. So you wanna look as cold as humanly possible. And so silver literally looks cold. Meanwhile, gold looks warm. So this means that we need a silver watch, a silver chain, silver rings, a silver bracelet. We're going all silver, sterling, of course, because cheap silver never looks good. So this will automatically help you with that vampire aesthetic, make you look even more mysterious. I'm gonna be honest, it's very difficult to fully pull off this archetype, this aesthetic, if you're working a nine to five. And here is what? There's really not much mystery to you, man. I mean, you're working 40 to 60 hours a week at a company. Everyone knows exactly where you're at. Whenever you're off work, your friends, your family, they always know exactly what you're doing. Now, a vampire, the mystery behind them is what makes them so attractive. No one ever knows what this person is exactly doing. This is why I personally believe if you want to embrace this archetype, you need like multiple online streams of income. You need different ways that you're always hustling, always grinding. No one really knows exactly where you're at. 
but you can even do this with jobs as well. Just don't really let people know where you're working. Also, don't really get close with your coworkers. As long as you keep that air of mystery, that is what's gonna be the most important. And obviously online income, it's gonna be the easiest way in 2023 to pull this off, but it's not necessary, man. Like I said, the vampire archetype is more of the pretty boy archetype. So you wanna look as attractive and pretty as possible. So any vampires you see in any series, movies, you don't see them with like a really high and tight haircut, man. They never have like a super masculine type of haircut. They always have length. Some of them even have long hair down to their collarbones. It still looks good. It's a little bit too feminine for me. And then obviously kind of the gold too is scissor cut on the sides and back. And then some length on top, kind of like Edward Cullen, man. It's very aesthetic. It looks very cool. And so if you want to rock this archetype, you need some hair, man. Let it flow. There's been edge to you. And specifically, there needs to be like a secret, something big that nobody knows. For example, like an alter ego, another side of yourself that you're hiding from most of the world. For example, just so you guys have a real life example. I literally don't tell anybody about this YouTube channel. I don't tell any woman I'm dating. I don't tell friends. I don't tell family. People find it eventually by Googling me or I'll let something slip on my Instagram, but I don't ever let them know. So that's gonna be one key to embracing this aesthetic. Have some secrets, man. Don't let anyone know really anything about yourself, which leads us into the next point. Minimize your words. So many times, like Edward Cullen, Eric Northman, they don't talk very much. And whenever they do, they just speak to get straight to the point. That's going to be the key with this aesthetic. You're not always barking. You're not always talking. You're not always trying to impress people, man. People are trying to impress you. Just like I said earlier, it's like you're a cat. You notice how cats, they want other people to impress them. They act like they're the king of the world, the queen of the world. So if you want to embrace this, you need to act like you're the king. Let other people impress you, man. You're the one just kind of judging everyone and just silently observing everything. You need to have quite feminine grooming. So just like I said, they're all pretty boys. So this means you're not going to have a beard, not even a stubble. You're going to be clean shaven. You're going to have luscious eyelashes, man. You're going to be trimming and taking care of your chest hairs. You're not going to be super hairy all over the body. If you're naturally super hairy, you will probably relate a lot more with the werewolf archetype which you can cultivate as well. It's still a very, very attractive archetype. It's more of that traditional masculinity, but today it's all about the vampire. And last but not least, I just have to mention it. You have to be lean, but not too lean. The vampire archetype is going to be about 10 to 12% body fat. They're not gonna be too jacked. They have more of a slim, wiry build. They have like abs, like they have a six pack, but they're not insanely shredded. They never look like a bodybuilder. If I was shorter, I would definitely disqualify from the vampire archetype. But because I'm so tall and lanky, it looks like I'm a lot skinnier than I actually am when I'm 200 pounds, 8% body fat. There will never be anybody who is chubby or is skinny rocking that vampire archetype. They're just going to look weird with them, man. So 10 to 12%, some good muscle toning. This will automatically nail you down to where you look just like a vampire. So if you do everything in this video, man, this will literally make you a real life vampire. That woman will always be curious about. That is the key, man. You always need that mystery as if there's another side to you. And the best thing is, man, make sure there is another side to you. Make sure there are other personalities. Make sure there's always something crazy that nobody knows about that you keep all to yourself. And maybe if they get to know you well enough, time will reveal everything. So that's it. If you need help with your fitness goals, link in the description box for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, Austin Wayne. I've transformed thousands of physiques into male model Greek god shape. If you want to be next, hit that link in the description box. Also, guys, KaylaSeek.com for the best pre-workout, high growth supplements, creatine, whey protein, everything, KaylaSeek.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Push it out into the YouTube algorithm. That's it. I'm gone.